everyone and welcome back um so for me currently it is 9 p.m so this technically for me will be going out kind of late for some people it won't be but i don't know <laughs> i don't know time zones y'all <laughs> but um yeah i finally got to this i meant to do this earlier but i forgot so today i will be doing the chapter seven and eight of the perfect birthday by me um yeah i really love these chapters they're like two of my favorites uh i still need to write more for this so i might start posting one chapter pod fix of this until i finish it and i i think it's almost done in my opinion so i'm gonna stop talking so i can actually get to the story um, okay, let's start chapter 7. Chapter 7. The special guests have arrived with a tragic backstory. July 15th, 8.30 a.m. at the UA Gates. Tomura Shigaraki's POV. Tomura? Toga asked. What? Shigaraki asked, turning his head to look at Toga. Are you sure we can just wait here? I mean, we don't have to knock or ring a doorbell, Toga asked. This is a school, not a house, crazy, Dobby said. I know that, Toga pouted, crossing her arms. I was just asking. What the fuck? They heard a familiar voice say. They all turned to look at the speaker. It was Eraserhead. Hello, Eraserhead, Shigaraki said as the gates opened. What are you guys doing here? Eraserhead asked, clutching his capture weapon. Chill, Eraser. Dobby said. We just came to see the squirt. The squirt? Eraser asked. My little brother, Shigaraki supplied, thinking that would help. You have a little brother who goes to UA? Eraser asked, confusion and fear barely hidden on his face. Shigaraki sighed. Yes, he doesn't know we're brothers since I was put up for adoption before he was born, but I know who he is and what he looks like, he said. Who's your brother? Eraser asked. Dobby let out a laugh. He's one of your students, he said. What? Eraser asked, stiffening. Shigaraki sighed again. Izuku Midoriya is my little brother. I have our father's surname, and he has our father's fake surname, Shigaraki said. But you guys look nothing alike, and you act totally different, Eraser countered. Actions and looks don't make a family, Eraser, Mr. Compress said. Love does, and Shigaraki cares about Izuku. If he cares, then why does he keep attacking him? Eraser asked, teeth clenching. Okay, the attacking bit is against my will, Shigaraki said, putting his hands up. What do you mean? Eraser asked, not even hiding the confusion. Shigaraki put his hands down. Our father is known as the symbol of evil. He forced me to be his successor since he thought I'd be his only child, so he forced our mom to have our uncle take care of me. Then, when I was almost five, he somehow forced this quirk on me. Then, since I didn't know him as my father, he helped and forced me to kill people. Shigaraki explained. Damn, Eraser said. I know a lot of villains had a bad childhood, or at least a bad past, but... I didn't expect the whole movie plot to be your backstory. Shigaraki laughed. My past is fucked up, he said. But all of our pasts were fucked up. I mean, Dobby's dad was an abusive fuck. Toga's parents were quirkist as fuck. Magne couldn't live the life she wanted. Mr. Compressed felt the need to carry on his ancestor's legacy. Twice lost his job because one of his clones, of himself, ran over a longtime customer. And his clones tied him up and fought about who the real Jin was, and Spinner was discriminated against for his mutation quirk. So, I'd say we all had fucked up pasts. Eraserhead didn't say anything. So, Dobby said, Can we come in and celebrate the Squirt's birthday? I... Eraserhead was cut off by a high-pitched voice. Of course! It was Principal Nezu. As long as you promise not to harm anyone. Of course, Shigaraki said. It would be stupid to, Dobby said. Also, is Shoto going to be there? I need to talk to him. He will be, Nezu said. Will Ochako be there? 
Toga asked excitedly. Yes, but remember, no stabbing or harming people, Nezu reminded. Toga nodded rapidly. Oh, we also brought gifts, Shigaraki said. Gifts? Eraser asked. Yeah, for the squirt, Dobby said. Right after he said that, a warp gate opened and a pile of presents appeared on the ground in front of them. Chapter 8. More to the group. July 15th, 8.56 a.m., Class 1B's dorms. Nato Monoma's POV. Monoma was scrolling on his feed when he saw a post from one of his upperclassmen. He decided to read it. Togata hasn't celebrated his birthday ever. Let's make this year super special for him. Togata. Togata. Oh, right. He's one of the members of the Big Three. Today's his birthday? Togata Senpai shares a birthday with Midoriya? Huh. Wonder if 1A is throwing Midoriya some huge party for his birthday. Who was he kidding? Of course 1A would do something like that. Monoma decided to go back to scrolling on his feed. Not even a minute later, he found a post from Tenya Ida from Class 1A. Today there will be a party in the 1A dorms for Togata Senpai. If you wish to come, you are welcome to. 1A is throwing a party for Togata Senpai? Shouldn't they be throwing a party for Midoriya? Huh. Monoma decided to ask Shinzo, since he always seemed to have some insight into what the Class 1A was up to. Phantom. Hey Shinzo, do you know why 1A is throwing a party for Togata Senpai and not Midoriya? Sleep deprived cat. How did you find out about that? Phantom. I was scrolling on my feed and saw a post from Donataki Senpai and another from Ito. Sleep deprived cat. Ah, uh, yeah. Most of 1A collectively agreed to put off celebrating Midoriya's birthday to celebrate Togata Senpai's. What? Why the hell would 1A rather celebrate someone who they barely knew over their fellow classmate? And they're just ignoring his birthday? Phantom. That's fucked up. Even I wouldn't go that far. Sleep deprived cat. Tell me about it. Anyways, me, the teachers, and some of the others from 1A are celebrating Midoriya's birthday in the teacher's dorms. You want to join? Monoma thought about it. He may not like class 1A, but Midoriya was an exception. Midoriya was always nice to him and tried to befriend him several times. Monoma may not be the nicest person, but the least he could do for Midoriya is show up to his birthday party when all of his friends just blew him off. I'll be there after I get a gift. What does he like other than All Might and Quirks? Sleep deprived cat. Lol. Okay. He likes books, writing, heroes, and cats. Phantom. Okay, I'll see what I can find. Did you take him off campus? Sleep deprived cat. Yeah, right now we're waiting for our All Might movie to start. Phantom. Okay, it's a new one, right? Sleep deprived cat. Yeah, it's one hour and 57 minutes long. Phantom. Okay, I'll get him a present and then can I join you guys with whatever you're doing? Sleep deprived cat. I asked Midoriya and he said that would be awesome. Monoma smiled. Phantom. Okay, see you later. Sleep deprived cat. See ya. Monoma put his phone in his pocket. Now all he had to do was find a present for Midoriya. July 15th, 11 a.m. at the UA Gates. Kotsky Bakugo's POV. Thanks for dropping me off early, Dad, Kotsky said. It's no problem, Kotsky, his dad said. Remember, your mom, Inko, and I will be back later to celebrate Izuku's birthday with you guys. I know, Kotsky said. I love you, Kotsky, his dad said. I love you too, Kotsky grumbled. His dad smiled before waving and driving away. Kotsky made his way towards the gates of UA. He scanned his ID and walked through. He decided to check the 1A dorms for Izuku, so he made his way towards the dorms. When he got there, he opened the door and found a whole party set up. He knew it wasn't for Izuku, and that's what made his heart sink even lower into his stomach. He had felt like this since he found out the class ignored Izuku's birthday. Bakugo, Glasses said, chopping his hands like usual. You made it just in time for Togoto Senpai's party. He'll be here within the next 20 minutes. I didn't come for him, Glasses, Kotsky said. Where's Izuku? Midoriya, Glasses asked. I don't know where he is. I saw him yesterday, but I don't think he's come back here since he left a train with Shinzo yesterday afternoon. Great, Kotsky said. Shitty hair! Yes, Baku bro? 
Shitty Hair said, appearing out of thin air. Where's the Zuku? Kotsky asked, glaring at Shitty Hair. Um, Shitty Hair said, pulling something up, something up on his phone. Oh, looks like he's at the mall. He's probably with Shinzo, Toto Bro, and Kami Bro. Thanks, Kotsky said, walking out the door. Wait, Baku Babe, Pinky called. Kiri Babe, Sarah Babe, and I are coming with you. Okay, Kotsky said, continuing out the door while the others followed him. July 15th, 11.15 a.m. at the mall. Izuku Midoriya's POV. Izuku was having the time of his life with Kaminari, Shoto, Shinzo, and even Monoma, who told Izuku to call who told Izuku to call him Nato, and after Mono Nato told him that, Hitoshi and Denki did the same. It made Izuku really happy. He was also really happy because his friends were buying him a bunch of hero mer- hero merch. Courtesy of Endeavor's credit card. What made his day even better was when Kachan, Mina, Kirishima, and Kirishima and Saro came to join them. Hey, nerd, Kachan said. Izuku had whipped around so fast, he almost gave himself whiplash. Kachan, he yelled, running towards him. Kachan caught him and hugged him tight. I missed you, Izuku said into his shoulder. I was gone for less than 24 hours, Kachan retorted. So, Izuku asked, pulling away. You're still my best friend. I know, Kachan said, putting his hands up placatingly. Also, happy birthday, Izuku. Izuku smiled. Thank you, Kachan, he said. I thought you weren't coming back until around three. Shin Hitoshi said. I was, Kachan said. But then Shitty Hair told me about what the rest of the class did, and I decided to come back early. You didn't have to, Kachan, Izuku said. No, I didn't, but I wanted to, Kachan said. Izuku smiled. Are you going to join us on our shopping trip? Nato asked. Duh, why else would we be here? Also, who the hell is buying all of that shit the nerd got? Kachan asked. My father, Shoto said, pulling out his father's credit card. Kachan smirked. Nice, he said, putting his hand up for a high five. Shoto gave him his high five. Let's spend as much as possible. Who's hungry? Coming, Denki asked. They all agreed to go get some lunch at the most expensive place in the mall. Okay, so that is the end of chapter 7 and 8. I would just like to say I am going to try and write chapter 9 tomorrow. Maybe 10. We'll see how I feel. Because I'm planning on writing it in the morning when I get up. Because I have time before I have to leave the house. I should, if I wake up on time, have like 2 hours. So I think I think we'll be good. I think I'll post them tomorrow, and then I'll also podfic them. Or I might do my other fanfic. We'll see. We'll see. Sorry. Um. Well, I really hope you enjoyed. I really love um how I added the villains in. I just I love adding the villains. Okay. I love them. And yes, I made up a whole new backstory so that Izuku and Shigaraki could be brothers. That is besides the point. (laughs) Okay, well, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna stop pulling in Izuku. Um, (laughs) I, but again, I really hope you enjoyed this. I really love it. And I will see you in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Also, I just thought of this. I forgot to post an edit for Mount Lady's birthday, and it was, like, two days ago. So, I really need to post that. So, please blow up my comments telling me to post my Mount Lady edit. Maybe that'll get me to do it. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!